Let's talk about Ivan Tony. Real quick. Yeah, man. He might want to start singing on TikTok with <laughs> Daniel Sturridge for the next eight months. Daniel Sturge, uh, uh, <laughs> Daniel Sturge. Ivan Tony, yeah. uh, striker for uh, Brentford. He is... Uh, Formerly striker for Brentford. <laughs> he is banned from all footballing activities for eight months due to a uh, gambling uh, uh, Apparently charge. goes back to like before he was in the Premier League. And also he never bet on his own team. Which okay. is why he's not like banned. But it's for like life. a lot of charges. I forgot. Yeah, a lot. It's like two hundred something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So he's um, the kid got busy. <laughs> I mean, we all know if you, uh, if you, you just you, love that DraftKings app, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro, if you play in the leagues, you sh you they have very strict rules. They don't want you uh, uh, compromising. Uh, you know the the uh, validity of these results in these right. games. So, but I don't think he ever bet, and I don't know this for a fact, but I think it stated that he didn't bet on a game he could have influenced. Yeah, but even so, that's like at least sure. It sounds it's a little bit um, like. Can he bet on basketball? Uh, who's the who's the baseball guy? Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose bet never to to like lose, but still bet on his own team. He bet on his own team. When he was the manager, right? Of the Reds. Right. Yeah, Which is not. It's just it's it's just a we, we can't even get into that's the how semantics much of a degenerate of it. gambler he was, where it was like. All right, I'll bet, but not on my own team. And he's like, All right, maybe I will bet on my team, but to <laughs> win, no, because I just believe in them so much. <laughs> okay, I'm, look, I'm not gonna put up my own child that's collateral, yeah. all right? I, that's the where I draw but I the line. I will pull up this child that is friends with my child. <laughs> okay, I barely know this yeah. kid. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, look. I see the tweet from uh, we have the tweet on screen from Fabrizio Romano. Uh, and he, he said he's so he's been banned for uh, eight months. Imagine he did a here we go for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also fine. He's also been fined fifty thousand pounds, which is whatever. Right, it's nothing. Uh, I wonder when that back on a parlay. Bro. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, like, man, that's everything I won on Champions League final. Do you think he's allowed to bet while he's suspended? I think no, it'd be no, stupid. No, no, no. <laughs> that would be so funny. I mean, it's 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 like Ja getting <laughs> holding up a gun alive yeah, again yeah. after he was already punished. He would never for. do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a silly thing to do. Why would he repeat yeah. that mistake? Um, the uh, uh, some people, uh, I don't know. Some people are defending Ivan Tony a little bit, which seems a little odd. Who is? Uh, just in general, they're just like seeing that it was too harsh. They make the comparison like, um, which I, I don't think it's. Is it a guy named Lad and last name Brokes? <laughs> <laughs> they, they kind of, not, a lot of people say uh, they, they, it's the what about ism. It's like, oh, if there was a, um, a, a racial slur at a game, it's less, uh, you know, uh, less. Which is true. You get it less of true. a ban for being racist than you do betting Which on the sport. I, I would love uh, if racists were severely punished for uh, being racist. Right, the point there is not to have him ban less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> have racists ban more. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's almost, it's a, it's a- You're right, dude. Let everybody <laughs> bet as much as you want. We can't punish these racists. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for hearing me out. <laughs> I mean, okay, I feel like you did the reverse of what I wanted to hear, but all right. There's all right. two sides. There's some progress here. It's just such a- uh, a, a moot point mainly because the 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 rules even though uh the rules are very clear when it comes to gambling the the players know that what they're getting involved with remember when we had Juan Agadello on the show yes uh, we we were Juan Agadello he played for the new first world. player ever to do our first, show first active player that ever did our show we were communicating with him uh to get him on the show and remember how nervous we were just to text him we're like no we're gonna bother him. <laughs> it's Juan Agadello yeah. we can't just text him <laughs> yeah. right and we we text him about uh you know scheduling uh, the interview and then he texts back with right when the interview is supposed to start. Yeah, because he was busy at Just the moment. Just a picture of a whiteboard, and it said match fixing. <laughs> it literally said, ma it said match fixing meeting. Meeting. And I'm like, he's in a meeting yeah. to fix matches? <laughs> By the way, Christian and I both immediately thought he's learning to fix matches and has revealed this to us, which is the dumbest conclusion you could come up with we when you get a picture of a whiteboard that says match fixing meeting. So then we talked to him on the, the interview, and he's like, yes, I was in a meeting about to not fix matches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on how to and see the signs of it yeah, and why <laughs> not to. Uh, and so, we were like, oh. <laughs> so they know that they, this is something that they if should they pay not. attention to the meeting. They also know they shouldn't. <laughs> 
They also know they shouldn't be racist as well. I mean, but that's a that's an important. That's a, I just want to make sure that's clear. They do know that, and yeah. sometimes they don't do that. But we, but when it comes to the this, the main issue with uh, gambling, players that gamble in sports is that racism doesn't necessarily mess with your boss's money. No, no. Yeah. So the, when you mess with their money. They're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, right. uh. Hey, whoa, whoa. Never even heard of it. I've, I've never seen a racist. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know any about that. Racism? I've been, <laughs> never heard that one before? In fact, I think Ivan Tony's lawyer told the judge, let's knock this down to a lesser charge of being an anti-Semite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take the deal. Yeah, we'll honor. plead. We'll take a plea. <laughs> Just get traded to the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. <laughs> that one, so that's the main thing. So that that is why these, these, the penalty is going to be harsh because and and it's not surprising. Yeah. So I don't know all the details. I haven't heard Ivan Tony's side. I you know a lot of he times he released the statement, but it was very like you know. Chat GPT. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's a little John, yeah. John Morant. I just uh, found out we're going to, I think they're going to appeal. But I guess the question I have for you is he's 27 years old. His contract runs through June 30th of 2025. So essentially two years left on his contract. Now would be next season would be the time you want to sell him. At 28 years old, peak. He's valued at 50 million euros. He's great. He's a great player. He's a great player. Great forward. He's valued at 50 million euros. He's potentially your backup, uh, number nine. Uh, for the uh, England national team, what do you do with this guy? Do you sell him? Who's going to buy him knowing he's banned until January of 2024? Um, I really he, wanted he, him at Chelsea. I'm not going to lie. He's Before good enough. He, how out. many players? There were players in the in the, in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> how many more players do you need at Chelsea, bro? Um, he, is, he is that good that people are going to look past this stuff, I think. Oh, oh, he's going to come up I'm with... I'm saying that he's missing a, a huge chunk. I know, I, I, I know, I know. But I, I don't think it's going to hurt... It's going to hurt his transfer. It's going to hurt Brentford more than it's going to hurt Ivan Tony. That's what. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right, I agree. <laughs> <laughs>